So last week we were looking at templates, so we're going to review templates, and um, I'm going to create a template right here. Create a directory of templates, and, uh, and I'll put some files in there, and we'll do a <clears throat> new file. And we could do like an HTML file, and we'll call this main.goHTML. And it became main.goHTML HTML. So let me rename that. There we go. And uh, And then I could duplicate that, call it about. Here's my about template. And um, I want to initialize my program by parsing all my templates so that they're ready to use. And I could do that with parse glob but I need to store them into a variable that's accessible throughout the entire package. So at the package level scope, I'll create var tpl, and it'll be a from package template type template. So it's like we could have, and it's wanting me to import something. So that's not the right keystroke. There we go. I'm going to go with uh, HTML template. And uh, now that I have that, I could do inside my init, which runs right at the beginning of the program, <clears throat> I could do uh, template must, right? So TPL is going to be equal to template.must, and then template.parseglob, and then inside template parse glob, we need a string, and I'm going to do bump bump. Uh, star.go HTML, all files that are star.go HTML. Now my syntax, I'm not sure my syntax is right there, I just have to think about this for a second. So I want to go into the templates folder, that's what I'm looking for. Any file that ends in go HTML, so any files, the star ending in go HTML, uh, I'm going to parse that. And now TPL is ready to use. So in main, I could execute my TPL. So TPL.execute, and I have two executes. This one just executes to something that fulfills the writer interface. Uh, so a writer. So I could do standard out. And this one specifies which file I want to execute. So I'll do this one. I'll do standard out. Where is standard out? OS standard out. There we go. And we're going to do main.goHTML and nil for data. And uh, we can look at template.execute. And it returns an error. So I'll do error, colon equal. If error is not equal to nil, uh, what's one of the things we could do? Log.fatal, and we could pass in that error. And then I could do that again. And it's giving me an error here because I'm trying to redeclare error, so I'm just going to do an equal sign. And then this one I will do about. So these are going to standard out. And I'll go over here and then run it. And we're in 36.
And so it dumped out both about and main. So it brought them all in and then it ran them. And eventually we'll write this as a response to, you know, a request and so it'll get served to a client. But we could also do these to a file. So if we wanted to create files, do you want to see that again? Anybody? So where was the file stuff? Was it in package OS? We could go to godoc.org. Hey Sid. And we could search for OS. And there's package OS. And we go to index. And so there we have a file. And one of the files that we could do is create. Right here, so we give it a name, it gives us back a pointer to a file and an error. So I'm going to do f error colon equals os.create and give it a name. And so I could call this one about.html. And if error is not equal to nil, log.fatal, another error. And then when we have a file, we have to close it. So there we're closing it. And then we can duplicate all that. We'll call this F2. F2. So now if we run it, let's see what happens. Created about.html twice, because I forgot to change the name of this one. And I forgot to write to it. So this one will be main. And now file has this right here. It has that method. So if it has that method, godoc.org IO, the writer interface is the reader. Writer interface says if you have this method, you are implementing the writer interface. And so a file has that method b slice of bytes in in it error 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 b slice of bytes. Well, that one's p. What was that one? That one's b. That's fine. It could be different. It just needs slice of bytes in error slice of bytes in error. Okay. So it has that method. So that means that we could write to a file. And here, template, execute template says, pass in something of type writer. Well, file is also type writer. A standard out fulfills type writer, but a file does also. So we could also do these alls right here. But instead of executing to standard out, Here I'm going to execute to F. That first file here I'll execute to the second file, F2. And the second file, F2, is about, and the first file is uh, main. So now let's run it. So now it created about HTML and wrote the contents and main HTML. Sorry, main HTML and wrote the contents. It's kind of cool, right? So pretty soon we'll see how to create a web server and just write our response using the same thing. Instead of writing to standard out or writing to a file, we'll write just to the response, the web server's response. So the way that you get used to this is just to do it over and over and over. And, you know, I haven't done this for a year and three months. 
except for last week, and then I did it last week, and then even coming back here without looking at it for a week, I'm like, oh yeah, what was it, right? But, you know, then it comes back. So the way you do it is just to do it over and over and over, and, uh, and then you become more familiar with it. Cool?